Hello friends, I'm Colonel Folia and this is Block Hood. Uh, in the last episode we, uh, well, we yeah, expanded to a second floor, we uh, we built an oil well. Uh, it was it was quite the rare occasion. Um, and, uh, and I have subsequently discovered that every time you load the game, it resets all of the agents that you'd earned, which was a shame. It, it basically means that Toby the Panther is no more. Uh, Toby has gone on to new pastures, uh, and, uh, and as such, uh, our herons uh, are multiplying. We have additional multiplication, multiplicating, multiplicating, no, you can't say that. That's a word that you're having trouble with, plus it's the wrong word. They're multiplying. Herons. I'm going to open a, a heron sanctuary. Uh, anyway, in today's episode, well, we've got we've got security here for, for reasons I don't fully understand. Um, we're going to uh, expand our facilities to uh, to another couple of floors, uh, and we're going to do so without without too much care and attention. I'm basically going to bang in a whole bunch of stuff and then see if I can uh, uh, resolve. Uh, the the very likely shortages in demand that this will have caused. So do stick around because that's sure to be a delight for us all. Right then, first off, I was so taken with uh, with earning some ballerinas last time around, and I seem to be I seem to have lost one. Uh, that I that that that, that I, th I believe is is now my primary resource. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to extend my ballet center here, my ballet studio, in the hope of attracting more ballet students, uh, ballerinas. I you know let's face it, they do look quite. I'm going to say festive, despite the fact that's entirely an appropriate word. Uh, oh, I unlocked an achievement, which is people won. I have more than one people here. I've got I've got peoples. I have m multiple people, but no matter. Uh, well then, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just crack on because my my goal. What have we got here? This is a different type of apartment. Uh, we could put it there, I suppose, but I don't I don't really I don't really feel that as a as an option. Hold on. What about this? These feel like they should be on the ground floor. If I'm completely honest, uh, and apologies, the, the, I, I'm still, you know, I, well, I mean, let's not beat about the bush. I'm still, I'm still fighting the camera. Oops, I, I think I needed that tree. Uh, never mind. E easy come, easy go. Right, let's put that in there, and then where was that nice-looking brownstone apartment block that I had my eye on? It's here. Look. See, because I think this is going to look particularly sporty. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's this, this uh, having a, a kind of an inner city feel to things. And I'm not even, I'm not hanging around. We're gonna, we're gonna build that up as some kind of uh, a, a tenement, I suppose. Um, and uh, and people can figure it out from there. But I am going to need to get. Uh, some suitable multi-layer uh, transportation for them uh, in order to access those higher floors. So what I want here is we're going to put a, we're going to put an elevator in. No, no, no. Elevators a lift. This is an escalator, which is the same in both countries. Currently, an escalator to nowhere. I'd quite like it to be an escalator up here. There we go. No, look. Put the... That's it. Now, this might feel incredibly haphazard, and it is uh, a little, but, uh, but I, you know, I'm going to fill it in. But what I'm, what I'm aiming to do is get a lot built quickly, uh, and then uh, we will go back uh, and... Uh, yeah, you see, it doesn't want to do that. Well, how does that work, then? What do you clip onto there, Mr. Escalator? Let's get rid of it. Let's put the floors in. And then see if it wants to play ball. Where are you trying to clip? I want you on, I think, there. Feels like it's the right place for it. Maybe it's inadequately supported, so if I stick one of those under there, maybe it will be happier. Ha ha ha! And then we can stick that in there. 
Right, and that's all of those apartment blocks now accessible. So they shouldn't fall apart. At least that's the hope. Right, splendid. Hey, that, look, that looks pretty good. Um, right, now, I need some amenity uh, going on, well, here primarily, but uh, but we'd be good to get something else next to it. We're going to have a quick look at the graph, which is now all over the show. We, we're we're going to start consuming our fresh air, which I'm okay about. Not making enough money, not making enough electricity. That's fine, we'll drill some more oil. It'll be good. Everybody will be happy with that. Uh, what are we producing an abundance of? Wilderness, which we don't need. Grey water. Groundwater we're now producing a ton of. It's possibly because it's raining. Uh, anything else? Performer. Well, what can we use them for? How can I exploit these performers to make additional, you know, bucks? Input. A jazz club. Oh, yes. No, it out that, no, that outputs. It says inputs performers. That's what the I stands for. Oh, it inputs too. And it outputs... Sorry, misread on my part. Okay, right. Well, we're going to... Uh, we shall run uh, a double floor jazz club. On the, uh, on the top floor, we play, you know, traditional. Uh, you know, uh, on the uh, on the bottom floor, however, it's uh, it's very smoky, and uh, and we will go through through uh, through some heavy skiffle uh, on the ground floor. Uh, right now, I need to I need to sell some more stuff in order to make some cash, uh, in order to keep this thing afloat. And while I've got a bunch of water and air, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, we're possibly going to want to ensure that we keep that uh, we keep that ticking in um, as we continue to expand. Right, let's see. I want more money. What are you going to do? You take money and knowledge and give me water for nothing. Well, that sounds good. Let's find a bit of wilderness for you to just plonk on. There you go. You can you can live next to me oil tank. Yeah, go and, uh, go and make me some water out of out of thin air. It's jolly good of you. Uh, fresh air. What, what have we got here? No, that that consumes it. I want something that outputs fresh air, which I imagine is going to be you know like trees, trees and that. Uh, we've got pine trees, tanks, and greenhouse gas. Yes. Inputs groundwater. I don't want to give anything any groundwater if I can afford it. It took me an awful lot of stuff being built in order to get the groundwater in the first place. But I suppose if it's going to produce leisure as well, that's that's something else I can eat. Well, this poplar is uh, is good for for eating the mind you doesn't have to go through the groundwater at a, at a lick. Now this one does less fresh air, but it also gives me some fruit. Right. Okay. Sold. Uh, what are you? You're a cherry tree, right? Plum tree, beg your pardon. Right, where am I going to stick these? I might as well keep that blank, because I'm probably going to need to bulldoze more there anyway. Oh, we can stick it where the old, uh, uh, where the old wind turbines were. Now, that's quite a lot of trees, uh, given the amount of, uh, groundwater that I've, I've had problems with in the past. But, but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and maybe that one will pan out. Now that's going to take a minute or two to, uh, to get up to ramming speed. Meanwhile, uh, let's, uh, let's double down on electricity, shall we? Let's see, that's, a, that's another random tree I've just bulldozed, which, which is kind of goes against what we're trying to do here. How are we doing for algae? We're producing a little, but not a huge amount. All right. Because a biomass generator is presumably a little better for the environment than, uh, than you know, drilling a flaming great hole, uh, fishing out the oil, and then setting fire to it. Yeah, see, that's that's making people sick as well, which isn't. It's, that's not really what I'm about as a uh, as a, a, a. I don't know what would you call it? An arcology, uh, as an arcology designer, making people sick and or risky really isn't what I signed up for. Let's, uh... 
So if we do that, that will up my uh, my algae creation count, and then we can stick another biomass chap in there. See, I'm, I've thought this through. An algae farm takes grey water. Ah, how are we doing for grey water then? Oh, we're producing tons of that. There we are. Let's do it. All right. So we uh, we algae farm there. All right, and then. Uh, we stick it into the biomass pump in that way that you do. No, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, no, 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 no. I wanted the biomass biomass generator, please. Uh, algae biomass generator. Unless I've just placed the same thing twice. There we go. And synergy. Excellent. All right, that should sort out my electrical problems. Anything short over there? No, nothing short down that end. A tiny bit short on water. But with that amount of drainage going on, we should be fine for water for quite some time. Right, let's go back to building flats. Because, you know, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm all about, is, you know, let's, uh, let's carpet the entire area with, uh, with cheap housing. Uh, unless there's any more options going on. Oh, we could build a corporate office, which makes lots of money. It outputs minus 1.5 roasted coffee, which surely that would be an input, right? Maybe I should make some coffee. That seems to be the sort of thing that people like. Uh, we can make plastics. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd probably want to sell those afterwards, though. And that... That would involve some kind of large apartment... Large apartment? No, large supply chain. Well, okay, let's... All right, yeah, let's make some plastic. I'm sure that's going to keep the natives happy, particularly the wildlife. Right, plastics in. All right, so with said plastic, uh, once that starts producing, we can figure out what to spend it on. Although that said, we've got media here. What, are, what, are we, what can we do with that? What can we spend that on? A media... Media tech. A media tech. And it also needs data. That, that seems very... That, that, that seems pretty suspicious in, in the sense that it sounds like some kind of newfangled modern age something or other. Right. A shipping centre takes electricity, plastic, labour and oil, turns it into all the money in the known world. All right, that, that's obviously tempting. Uh, what else here? Oh, no, no, we were looking at... Oh, hello. Why is that broken? That was my algae farm that's broken. It needed an input on both sides. I did not, I did not correctly set that up. So if I were to put a... I don't know, uh, some kind of grass on the other side. Or pond. Yeah, all right. Have a pond. I don't think that's going to work, but uh, I, don't want this, I don't want this falling apart, so do a bit of that. I'm, I'm sure that will pan out just fine. Uh, right, let's... Uh, where are we? Oh, hello. We're, 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 we're quids in for everything now. Excellent. Right, well, in which case, I want the shipping centre, because that sounded like it was incredibly corporate. And I also want to grow some coffee. Uh, let's get people hyped up so that they, uh, they do even more work. Uh, we're at a coffee plant. Uh, no, there's no search option, is there? You can search for it once you've got some, but until then, you're you're looking to uh, find it for yourself. There we go. This is the one. Coffee, cherry, fruit, organic waste. That's fine. I'm probably going to have to figure out what to do with organic waste at some point, um, but that's that's a problem for later. Uh, right. What am I? What am I bulldozing this time? This lot. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a lot of coffee here. This is gonna we're, we're turning in, this into Colombia, um, with more yoga studios and fewer cartels. There we are. 
I reckon six should do the trick. Uh, right. Coffee cherries. Right. Well, once we, once we started producing those, I'll figure out what we want to uh, what we want to do with them. Also, sorted waste. What's that for? Can I sell it? Can I eat it? Um, so far. Oh, outputs. Sorted waste. Uh, what inputs it? I, I mean, I don't just want to hang on to it for ages. Is there no kind of, you know, plastics reprocessing centre in this, uh, this terribly organic... There we go, it's a recycling centre, look. And it makes plastics. Beautiful. Right, okay, I'll stick it next to my fog machine, which is creating water out of thin air. Uh, so uh, you, can, you can create plastic out of thin air, which will be even better. Right, we've got some hired hands now uh, poking about the uh, the coffee field. There's my coffee cherries. Where's where's buildings that do stuff with coffee cherries? Production probably. Go uh, coffee dry coffee rope processing takes that makes coffee beans. Consumes fresh air or. We either consume fresh air or we consume water. Okay, well, it's only one water because it's going to turn it into grey, which we can then subsequently, you know, all that. So we'll bang up a pair of those, uh, which will produce me coffee beans in due course. Now, that might leave me a little on the short side when it comes to water, but I can uh, I can always plumb in some more water, uh, those things, water tanks, water, what do you call them, water towers, there you are. Uh, yeah, bang in another couple of those and we'll have all the water we need. Uh, but, right, so I'm now making coffee. There we are, coffee beans. Now, here we, here we go, we're now looking for the uh, hot water. Have you not got a kettle? Can't you just apply, you know, electricity to a kettle? Flipping artisan. Oh no, we can only do it from a, a, a hot spring uh, that has been maturing in the earth for 50,000 years before we pour it over some ground up coffee beans so you can have that bitter taste that you really love. Uh, a maker space. Dear me. Uh, inputs, knowledge, youth. Yeah, we need something to do with the youth. Let's, let's put the youth in a knowledge space forthwith. Yeah. Knowledge yourselves. There, youth. Whatever that means. Now, uh, I'm building this in an incredibly haphazard fashion. I think you may possibly have spotted that. Uh, but I think you can probably make out, if you were to spend some time on this, you could come up with something that actually looked pretty bloody good. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just whizzing through it uh, right now. I think that looks quite nice, actually. Um, I mean, you know, ridiculous, given that I'm about to close off the sun from my, uh, my hydroponic gardening area. Uh, but I still think that there's, uh, there's, there's merit in this. Um, right. Give me, give me something, you know, coffee related. I've gone to an awful lot of effort to make you coffee beans. Now, where's my, you know, uh, Starbucks? Where's my, I want a tax dodging coffee shop. An antenna produces data. Okay. Uh, no, coffee shop. Where's the corporate headquarters that did something to coffee? That was on that was on tab one here, wasn't it? Barbershop. Corporate office. There we are. Corporate office. Roasted coffee. Well, and you've got coffee beans. I mean what you do with them from there is your own business. Um Alright, tell you what, let's have a let's stick a couple of offices in. That's that's a productive thing to do with people. I'm reserving all of this space for more ballerinas. because uh, I can't get enough of those guys. Um, and I, I suspect they can't get enough of me either. So let's put some office space in here. Right, no, 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 on there, right? Another one next to you. 
Now those plants below didn't say a thing about needing access to sunlight or oxygen or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm going to assume that they, they will thrive on themselves. Right, how do I make roasted coffee then? What have we got? Office workers, hooray! Uh, greenhouse school, school. We could use youth and labour to make knowledge and community. I don't really need any of that. Uh, culture and tourists don't really need that either. Uh, labour technology, electricity and plastics to make money and devices. Right, I know. Who doesn't love a device? Right, I think we ought to put some shops on top of these offices. Where are we? Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll do another one there. They are smashing. Right, so those are, what are those? Tech, no, those are tech factories. Oh, well, it's giving somewhere, people somewhere to work, I suppose, but that, that wasn't what it wasn't, wasn't my initial intention. Um, let's get the, the, let's get the second floor of the, uh, of the, uh, of the ballet studio built. And then I shall, I shall connect that up to the flooring system. No, you thought I was kidding, but no, I'm, I'm all about ballet dancers now. Bring me as many of them as you can possibly find. Uh, for with these artists shall I conquer the world. Uh, nope, 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 here. There you go. Keep it coming quickly before they, they object. Uh, stick it in there. Get the angle right and, and, and plumb it in. Keep it moving. Oh, we've got a staircase there as well. That would be nice to, to connect with, won't it? We've got a staircase that doesn't want to connect. Obviously, you have to put the floor in before the staircase. Uh, maybe there's some logic in that. I, I, I don't know. Uh, right, let's put the next floor of the lift on, though. And then... Connect this up to some stuff. And actually, given that the floor's all the same colour, it's actually quite hard to see, on a, on a perspective basis, whether you're getting this right or not. Now, I could put some kind of, like, a, I saw a newsstand somewhere. There we go. That would, that would go rather, rather nicely in there. For me ballet dancers to be able to, you know, catch up with the latest gossip after they've, after they've finished a, a strenuous plie. Right, put the floor in. A strenuous paso doble. Uh, right, that's, there you go. Working staircase, look. And then, a bit more of this. And a bit more. Right, I'm gonna, we're going to need to do a, we're going to need to take a, a ballet dancer census pretty soon. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm less pleased with this triple-decker brownstone effort than I, than I initially was in putting it in. I think it's, it's become something of an eyesore. But uh, I'm, I honestly can't get enough of my ballet centre. How many have I actually got now? Can we sort by uh, anything at all here? No, we're just, we're just looking at it. So we've got one, uh, two, three, four, five. Five ballet dancers now. Excellent. And, uh, and they are nearly constantly at work, uh, which is good to see. All hours of day and night, uh, ballet is occurring. Splendid. Uh, right, what else have we got going on? Uh, what, what do I have a surplus of right now? Media. We've got tons of media. More media than you can shake a stick at. We're a little low on sorted waste, which means I need more swanky apartments. Uh, that, we can, that we can provide there. Sorted waste. Outputs sorted waste. Luxury apartment needs hot water. All right, well, where does, where does one generate hot water? If we look for something that takes water in, presumably we will discover something that, that outputs hot water. See, they, you can't fault my logic there, can you? Right. Uh, outputs water. Uh, inputs water. Outputs hot water. Fish from boiler. That would probably do it. Right, okay. 
Yeah, fine. Or a solar heater. A solar heater doesn't use any uh, doesn't use any oil, uh, and I'm too busy selling that. So uh, so I can I can go for a solar heater. In fact, we'll have a row of solar heaters up here. Although they need access, which is annoying. Well, I'll stick them down there. Right, that's plenty of hot water. It's going to leave us short on regular water, I don't doubt. So I'm going to put another couple of... Uh, uh, and it's gone again. Water towers, thank you. Uh, I'm going to stick another couple of them in. In order to keep my, my overall water supply. Tippity top. Because we were running a little low. But now we're making hot water. I can make coffee. Which we've only been chasing for the last 20 minutes or so. Uh... Hey, the panther's back. Oh, I bet that guy's looking a bit nervous. Going to go, there's a flipping panther out here. What's he going on? He's, he's eating the algae farm. Surely that can't be sensible. Uh, two herons. Uh, we've got a student. We've got security. A ballet dancer. Panther. Rags. Rags the panther. Uh, three farmers. More, uh, an awful lot of ballerinas. And an incredibly happy factory worker. That's what we like to see. Right, show me my production. We need more more electricity, more water. More labour. Right, okay, more labour means more flats. Uh, and now that I'm making uh, hot water, presumably, I can... What does a capsule hotel give me? Money, consumers, organic waste, and water. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Let's, uh, let's put a capsule hotel in on this floor because we haven't got one yet, and, you know, who knows. Uh, right, whoops, steady. Yeah, right about there, ought to do it. Looks like a washing machine. Uh, and then a clinic. Lower sickness, more fitness. Now, I want to see what happens if everybody gets really ill. Although they're not going to have long to do so. Um, right, a tech office... We still need roasted coffee. Well, I've got to find someone that wants to make roasted coffee. Coffee shop. Takes coffee beans and hot water and outputs roasted coffee. Well, I could have predicted that, I guess. Uh, right, let's... Uh... Now, what I know of, uh, of modern town planning is, uh, is that you're not allowed to build one, uh, one coffee shop in isolation. Ideally, you want five or six of them right next door to each other. Um, different brands, uh, but they could occupy shops that, you know, could otherwise be selling something else entirely. But uh, no, it, the, the modern town planning, half a dozen coffee shops right next to each other. None of them will sell you anything for less than three quid. Casual office worker. Hipsters. I've got hipsters. Terrific. I want to, I'm want. i going to set me ballet dancers on them. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe I'm confu confusing ballet dancers with ninjas. Um, can't rule it out. Uh, right. Okay. What am I going to do with these devices? The tech factory makes them. Who wants them? An internet cafe. Oh, okay, right. Well, in this case, I'm going to set up a data center and then we'll put a, a, an internet cafe uh, in the vicinity of it. Uh, if, I, if we do it like this... Uh, you've lost it now, though, haven't you? Where's your, where's your data center gone? Yep, you've, you've misplaced it. You're never going to find it again. All these, all these little buildings, they, they do look slightly... Some, something broke. That will never do. What broke? All right, I'll have to... I'll have to that, that was the something just broke noise. Uh, right, we'll have one of those data center as its neighbor. Turn it around. Plumbing in. Okay, right, what are we, what, what broke there? Ah, we've got a technology shortage, but I've got two technology factories, so that shouldn't be the case. 
but something broke, which is usually a sign that I'm not providing enough of something to keep it afloat. Let's go have a look and see what it was. Anyway, while I'm doing that, thank you very much for tuning in today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, this completes my brief tour uh, of, of all things Blockhood. Um, it's, I, I like it. I, I think it's got a... Uh, I think it's got a style to it that is that is kind of it's kind of peaceful and it's and it's quite nice. Um, as far as uh, as the gameplay concerned, it's more it's more of a it's more of a puzzle game than it is a, a, a traditional builder because you're just looking to uh, to keep things in you know in parallel and in parity and, and making sure that you've got enough of everything going on. Um, but I think I've I think I've got everything I need to out of this, and and hopefully you've enjoyed the ride along the way. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, and thank you very much for watching this this brief series. Et. go watch something else now. Uh, chuck a like at this one if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on whatever occurs next. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I shall inevitably catch up with you very soon. Cheerio.